you sum that one up, Kevin? Um, wins a win. Probably the best way I can sum it up. But um, both teams were edgy. I think that's because of the competition and how it's structured. Um, both teams were trying not to lose the game rather than win it. Um, thankfully, we, we had enough in the end just to get th get through. Um, I think we'd have lost that game eight weeks ago. Any tight game, as you know, we've been involved in. We've um, we've landed on the wrong side of it. So, uh, look, delighted with the two points. Um, huge effort from our guys. We're, we're dumb at times. Um, some of the areas at the start of that second half, uh, you scratch your head at and wonder what on earth are we doing. But um, we found a way to win, and, and that's a real good sign. Two minutes to go. Robert Lewis sitting in the pocket, went for a knockdown attempt. What's going to be your mind at that point in time? Um, miss. <laughs> so I, I think the, the lads are smart, and we've done a lot of scenario stuff the last couple of weeks in particular coming into these games and um, I think it's a testament to the group at this moment in time, they're willing to work for each other and scrap and fight and Matty Parcell it was a great effort to, to get out and um, prevent the drop the drop goal and you know that, that next set then leads us into a decent position to win a penalty ourselves and, and kick the goal so um, although we do some dumb things with the ball at times defensively, um, I think we're improving. Were the players frustrated at times with some of the calls out there tonight? I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to blame referees for anything. I've, my frustrations are born out of us um, making crazy decisions when we don't have to. When we just need a bit of control and. and um, we just need to manage the game for ourselves and at times we failed to do to do that especially at the start of that second half I thought we invited Salford back into the game I thought we'd have started well this, that second half it might have been um, a far better scoreline for ourselves but uh, we'll take that anyway Four from five now will that be enough do you think? No I don't I think we, we'll need uh, we'll need another one it'd be nice to get another two um I think some of the championship sides who've stepped up already, um, I suspect that they will get some scalps, um, maybe one or two uh, this weekend, but I think Halifax at some stage will get somebody, so with with that threat, um, you know, we won't become complacent at all. Um, I like the way Richard Marshall and his team operate. Um, I watched Halifax earlier this year, actually, and um, they play some decent stuff, so... It's always been a tough place for Leeds to go. Um, I remember going back there, sort of early 2000s, and it was a, a real fortress for them. So uh, we look forward to it. it. Brings a new challenge. Then we finish with Toron Toronto here. So um, it can be a great two weeks for us as a club and uh, as a team, um, or we can make it really, really difficult for ourselves. So hopefully we choose the first one. How worried were you, Kev, when Salford got this back to 16 or? Um, worried's probably not the right word. I'm a little bit concerned. Um, probably, I don't know if you missed what we spoke about, Trevor, but um, it was more to do with the drop goal. Um, I knew that was probably coming, um, but thankfully we were good enough to prevent that. How do you feel about the Super 8s going today? Um, do you know what, I'm, re I'm really glad I've experienced it um, and, and I never experienced it as a player so to be in this role now and, and have to go through it and understand exactly um, the pressures of it, very, very different than being at the other end of the table so um, if, if I'm brutally honest I don't, I don't really have an opinion on it, my focus has all been about us playing better and, and improving and um, let the people who make those decisions sort it out between themselves. Do you feel the team's made good progress in the last eight weeks? Um, I think we have the last two weeks defensively. I think with the ball, we showed some signs tonight of some decent stuff. I thought Tom Briscoe was outstanding um, to get two tries. There were a couple of others who really put their hands up as well tonight. 
Um, there's a lot of work for us to do. Um, like I said before, I, th I think we'd have lost that game eight weeks ago, so that's probably a testament to some of the work Jimmy and the coaching team, Chev and Rob, have, have done behind the scenes, and, and Jason, and, and um, albeit it's only a two-point victory tonight, it's a victory and could have been very, very different eight weeks ago. What point can you start planning recruitment for next year until you're absolutely certain where you're going to be playing? Uh, that's been ongoing probably since the middle of July. Um, I suppose we're waiting to press the button on one or two. But when we're safe, when we're 100% safe and, and we know where we're at, I think that's the point we can do it at this point. We're not 100% safe, so um, hopefully then we can move pretty quickly. Everyone flat on skates tonight, by the way? As far as I'm aware, um, the top of my head, <coughs> I, don't, I don't think there is anything other than the general bumps and bruises. It was nice today to be able to name the same 13 as we had last week. It was nice to only have one change, to welcome Adam Cuthbertson back in, who I thought he had a good game, actually. Um, so, yeah, I think a bit of continuity um, is nice this time of year. We, we just seem to be, uh, or we have lost, if you, if you look at some of the players that aren't playing, um, We've, we've got a fair amount of solid caps sat on the sideline at the minute.